it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. In this video, I'm going to be adding uh, WooCommerce to the demo website, uh, which is a WordPress website, which will give us a shop which will allow us to sell products and take payment via things like PayPal or any other payment gateway that you wish to set up. Um, so things like SagePay and other ones that you know allow you to take credit cards. It's a free plugin and it's pretty straightforward. And the theme that I'm using um, on this particular site supports WooCommerce, so it should be pretty straightforward. Most themes do, um, but if yours doesn't, then don't worry, uh, try installing it anyway. And uh, it may need a little bit of styling, um, but it should all work fine. But ideally, yeah, this plugin is for themes that are already uh, designed for WooCommerce. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm logged into the demo website, uh, which is one I set up quite recently. Uh, if you take a look on my channel, um, I've got a video on how to create a website that looks just like this. In fact, this very website here. And I'm already logged in, as I said, so what I'm gonna do is go to the dashboard. And I'm gonna uh, go to plugins and then add new. And then in the search box over here, type WooCommerce. And it's the first one that comes up. Click Install Now. And it goes off and downloads it automatically and installs it for you. So that's all done. Uh, we click Activate. And that's WooCommerce installed. So we're now ready to do, um, set up the pages that a shop needs, obviously, uh, you know, checkout and things like that, and add a product or two. Now to set up the pages, you can get the plugins to do it automatically for you. So I'm just gonna click Install WooCommerce Pages, this button here. And that's all done. So let's go back and have a look at our website and see if anything's happened. You'll notice that we now have a little shopping cart. Um, we've obviously no products in it just yet. So let's start adding some products. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. Now all the WooCommerce settings are here, so you've got all your orders and bits and bobs like that. And here are your products. So let's add a product. I'm just gonna do this very quickly. So it's a Breaking Bad t-shirt. In here you put some description. T-shirt from Breaking Bad, which is a TV program. Uh, you put your price in here. Obviously for t-shirts and things, um, oh, let's put the regular price in first. You would have uh, different sizes, but I'm not gonna go through that now. This is just a very quick overview video on how to install and get up and running. Um, I'll probably go into variations in another video. So uh, yeah, add your price, that's about it. You can add another short description here. This is, just so we know what it is, a short description. And then we need to add a featured image. So I'm gonna click over here, set featured image. I'm gonna upload one from my computer. Got one right here. And that's gonna upload and set the product image. So let's publish that. And then view product. And there is our t-shirt. And obviously the short description is there at the top and product description is there. So if we add this to cart, it does that very nicely and we can view the cart. So I mean our shop is pretty much there really. Um, I think what we need to do is add the shop to um, to the navigation and, and just double check our payment settings. So let's go back to the dashboard. Let's go to appearance and menus. So in menus, you need to select the right menu. Uh, my one is main menu. Then I'm gonna add the shop, which is a page that was recently created by the plugin. I'll have that as the second one next to home. I think I'm gonna lose one of these pages because I don't think there'll be enough room. So there we go. So we've got the shop added there. Now and that's gonna be a page uh, which can either be the categories of the shop or the products. 
Then this theme has got a uh, top menu, so I'm going to select that one. I'm going to add the My Account to that, like that, which again is another page that's created automatically by the plugin. So now if we go back to the site, got the My Account up there, we've got the shop here, so if we click that, that should show the product, and obviously as we add more products, they'll all uh, start to appear here. So that's good. Let's go back to the settings and just... I'll just show you a few of the WooCommerce settings that you might want to check out. So under WooCommerce and settings. Here you set all your um, your countries and all those kind of things, your currencies. They're all pretty self-explanatory. The main one you're going to want to look at is under checkout, which is going to be the PayPal um, settings. Now, if, as I say, it does support many other payment gateways and you just need to go over to uh, WooThemes, which is uh, the people that make WooCommerce and you'll find loads of extensions on there and you should be able to find one that suits your needs or just go into Google and you know type WooCommerce and whatever payment gateway you want to use. So PayPal is enabled as uh, standard, the PayPal standard is and you just enter your PayPal details, you know your email and other settings that you'll need from PayPal. You find all these within um, within your PayPal account. So that's it, I hope that was uh, straightforward. It's a very simple, short video, just give you an idea of how simple it is to get WooCommerce up and running. Obviously there's quite a bit more to it than that, which I will go through in future videos. But for now, get installing, add some products, have a play around, and I'm sure you'll get pretty far. Any questions, of course, just leave them in the comments and I will do my best to reply. See you later.